Hey Secondary 1 Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery and today we're going to move on to question number 3 of the Algebra paper that you just, just seen. And let's take a look at the question. The question basically says, um, oh it's a sequence of numbers, it's a number sequence. So 5, 10, 17, 26, so write down the next two terms. Very cheap, very very easy. So let's write this down right now, okay. 5, 10, um, 17, 26, am I right? 5, 10, 17, 26, I'm right. I'm always right. <laughs> so in this case, they want you to find out what's this and this. So what is the what is the pattern? It's actually um, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9. So what comes after that? What's the common, what's the, what's the pattern here? The pattern is plus 2 in between, plus 2 in between, plus 2 in between, and hence it will be plus 2 in between here as well, right? So let's just write this down quickly. Plus 9 plus 2 gives you plus 11. And plus 11 plus 2 gives you plus what? Gives you plus 13. Okay? So from here, you can straight away find out for part A. 26 plus 11 is going to give you 37. <coughs> Excuse me, and you plus 13 to that, you get 50. So the next two terms are actually 37 and 50. Simple, right? And part B, it says find the 20th term. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Okay, it gets a little bit complicated. Now, to find the 20th term, um, you must look for the, you must look for the, what's that called? The pattern. So this is what you have to do, okay? I'm going to erase all this thing over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just basically put down the first term is equals to, for example, 5. Okay, second term is actually equals to um, 10. Third term equals to 17. And finally, the fourth term equals to 26, right? This is pretty basic. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you see the patterns. Now, in this case, we have this pattern of um, adding 2, right? Adding 2, adding 2. So the first one... Um, what is it equals to what plus two? It equals to three plus two. Okay. Second one, the second one equals to eight plus two. Okay, I'm just looking at the pattern here. And it equals to um, fifteen plus two. And then equals to let's say what's this? Twenty-four plus two. Now I don't know what these numbers are. I don't know what does three equal to, but we must remember that it is in relation to this thing over here because this is the term, this is the nth term. Okay, for this kind of questions, I would usually do the n term first before finding this uh, 20th term. Okay, I find it a bit more easier. So in this case, how does 1 relate to 3? I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to try something. I'm just going to put, um, maybe it's n squared. Maybe it's 1 squared. In which case, it becomes um, 1 plus 2 plus 2. And let's try for the second term. Let's say it's 2 squared, then it becomes 4 plus 4 plus 2. So we don't know. We don't know what it is, right? We really don't know what it is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try it. So in this case, I'm just going to put um, 1 squared plus 2 plus 2. In this case, I'm going to put 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4 plus 2. In the third case, I'll put what? 3 squared, which is 9, plus 6 plus 2. Are you starting to see a pattern over here? We are starting to see a pattern. 4 squared is 16, plus 8 plus 2. So we are starting to see this pattern of this is n squared. And what is this over here? What is this over here? This is, um, let me just circle this for you. What is this over here? This is, actually if you take a look at it closely, you will notice that it's actually what? It's actually 2 times the n. It's 2 times n. 2 times 1 gives you 2. 2 times 2 gives you 4. So from there, you can actually start seeing the pattern. The pattern actually is 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 2 equals to 2 squared plus um, 2 times 2 plus 2, etc., and so on and so forth. So what is the n term? The n term is basically n squared plus 2n plus 2. So let's try this. Let's try for number 3. If you n equals to 3, 3 squared equals to 9, um, plus 2 times 3 gives you 6, which is equal to 15 already, plus 2 is 17, and hence the third term is 17, which is correct. So that is the nth term. But what can we do to this thing, uh, to this equation to make it look better? We can either leave it like this or you can actually uh, complete the squares. When you complete the squares, this is something I think you will learn in sec 3. But what you'll find is you'll have n plus 1 squared 
plus 1. And that is the final answer. Right? If you expand this up, you actually get n squared plus 2, n plus 2. So how do we do number sequence? It's pretty, pretty um, challenging, to be honest with you. But like I said before, it's all about practice, okay? And this is for part C. And for part B, the answer is for the 20th term, you just simply put it into the box. So you get um, 20 plus 1 squared plus 1. So you get 21 squared plus 1, which equals to, in this case, let's just take out our calculator, 21 times 21. This plus is it? 21 times 21. Or oh, it is that one. Plus 1. And you will get 442. And the answer is 442. So that is the answer for the number sequence. Of course, I think this is probably the challenge, the most challenging question in the assessment paper. But like I said again, it's all about practice. The more I practice, the easier it gets. So you can only start seeing patterns like n squared, n squared plus 1, and plus 1 squared. You can try so many, many different types of, of patterns, okay? So it's all about practice. So the more I practice, the easier it gets. This is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.